All right, so we have on here to talk about. Gilbert, one question while you were still with the uh, Have you received uh, uh, the request for proposals and finalizing them yet? <coughs> because we're getting a lot of talk uh, from about properties and things. We want to make sure we have the uh, request for proposals out before we start dealing with some of these people who are asking us what's going on. In there is no request for proposal out on the street yet for land, no. And do we have any plans on when that's going to happen? I imagine it'll be a little longer. We still have to have a discussion about truly what we're asking for. Do, do we do we want a 12,000 square foot police station, a fire station? Do we want an 8,000 square well, foot fire station? The only thing we want, we don't care about the building, we just want the ability to go out and talk to people about pieces of property. No buildings, no schools, no nothing. We just want to say, uh, yes, we'll talk to you about this piece of property or that piece of property. Yeah. We this haven't decided what's going where or if and when something's going to be built. I, I understand, but the state doesn't allow you to do it that way. You need to come up with the reasons why you need the property so you can put the proposal out there. So that's what we have to put together so we can put it out. And that kind of leans on how the fire station will be set up and how we'll set up the fire department. I, I know people were hot to, to get something. Well, we, we weren't under the impression that we had to specifically state we were going to put this building here so we want to buy that piece of property. We were under the impression that we were going to get some information on a number of different properties from people who had a property for sale, and this property would probably go for the town hall, this one would go for the highway department, this little piece here would fit for the fire department. If, if it was so a bigger parcel, this will, from what I'm trying to understand is the request for from proposals that, that we would be looking for is not only to put the police and fire station on, if it was a bigger piece of property and a reasonable price on it, that, that we would be interested maybe into putting a parking there on one side or fire department on the other side or some police substation as we talked about or building two building years ago. Building it, a new you know, town hall. So <laughs> how do you evaluate the proposals? How do you propose how do you propose to go out and talk to people and say, I we're looking for this piece of land and if it's twenty acres it's more advantageous because we can put our uh, public safety yeah. complex on it in the north end of town, yeah. and we can forget about service to the south end of town. We can put a new senior center in the north side of town, not in the center of town. Those are things, I mean, I understand what you're trying to do. You want to go talk to people and see what's available, but you have to have something to evaluate the proposals on. The IG wants that, and that's how the, the rules are set out for asking for land. If it was a uh, parcel of land that had a unique characteristic, then we can go out and talk to people because of the unique, unique characteristics. But there is nothing we've put together that says a unique characteristic is, is, or anything. So we have to develop that, and that's something we're still trying to grapple with. I mean, you've, we've gotten a list from the building committee that has an 8,000 square foot substation up north. Maybe. But, and, and that's, maybe. And that's maybe. still not permanent. You know, that's See, still not, not Because if we, uh, if we got a piece of property that's three acres, we could put a fire station on it. If we got a thing that's uh, ten acres, we could put two buildings on it. And if we got four acres or seven acres over here, we can put a new senior center and town hall all together on that one piece of property and then do away with some of these old other buildings. So this is what we're looking for. We have a number of properties with a number of different sides and shapes on them and we don't know which one we're going to uh, progress with first. We don't know if we're going with the fire department because we don't have any uh, request for proposals uh, to sell the North Hadley Hall. We don't have any proposal to buy uh, to look at properties but you're in, the, you're in the process of putting an RFP together for the North Hadley Hall. And nobody has really come together, the Historical Society, everybody, to put on what restrictions you want, what land you want to do. You're dividing the property in half. 
Nobody has made any definitive decisions on what you want to do with it. And, and then, so, I mean, well, so you're kind of wanting to go out and get property, but you don't know what you're going to get rid of first. Well, we want to, you're, you're, we want abandoning, to you're abandoning two departments right now in the existing building. Right. So, if you if you're, if we're going to put them, first you start with those two buildings. I would think that, that you would want two separate buildings on a bigger piece of property that you're abandoning right now. Why? Where are you going to put them? Uh, are, you, are you going to sell that property got, for $400,000 and pay rent for the next three you years? Got a building right across, you got a building right across the street that you can renovate and you can put the senior center and the parking rec in there because a lot of their activities... And how many years is that going to take to renovate? It won't and take where are you going to rent? This is what I've been trying to say for three years. We're running around fixing roofs, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. We now have a building across the street that will soon be empty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So at some point, Honestly, at some point, done. somebody's got to make a motion that yes, we're going to keep this building. We're going to renovate it. We're going to put departments X, Y, and Z here. Yeah. We're going to use this for swing space in the two years that it takes us to do it. We can run around, add trusses, fix roofs, put windows, garage doors on it for 25 years. When are we, when are we going to walk up, stand at the line and say, you know what, we're going to make a decision and we're going to start down this road. I think we've made a decision. We, we started are, down the road. We, yeah, we have. But we do have Town a... Town meeting voted to sell North Hadley Hall, so that's our first... Right. Yeah, we now need to, we got all we need to put our foot to down first. and we need to say, what do we want? Yes, and then there's, a lot, of, there's a lot of good... I'll let Molly talk next. <laughs> yeah. um, um, this is just a classic, you know, cart and horse issue. Um, what, what we originally had proposed in the building committee is gone a long ways uh, towards the goal is doing a needs analysis. And the problem is that we're not really done with the needs analysis. We're, you know, we've gotten, again, a long way. We've made a lot of progress. They've done a great job. But there still are these decision points. And just using North Hadley Hall, just what you were saying, John, you're, if you're displacing two departments, the only answer isn't finding a home for those two departments yep. because you're got to take the building across the street into account and all these yeah. other moving parts. Um, and I do worry about going out and having conversations with people about property when we still haven't definitively said this is what we need, need, yet this may serve the town better. Right. Because we're doing this on the, just, just using the building, um, the library building committee as an example. We went and we looked at a whole bunch of other libraries. Many of those libraries are amazing. I mean, they're incredible. They're, they're beautiful libraries. Does Hadley need that? Maybe not. But on the other hand, if you're going to spend the money once and done, maybe you want to do it once and quote unquote do it right, whatever right means. Exactly. And we're trying to do the same thing with all of our, exactly our right. town buildings. So. Um, I mean, I wish I had the magic answer to say, this is how it should happen, but I think we're all struggling with this issue. But I don't think that we're at a point, to Guilford's point, to go out and having too many conversations because you're just throwing up a jump ball and you get everybody coming out of the woodwork trying to jockey parcels. I mean, and we asked, I mean, there's been a lot of neat discussion. I mean, mm -hmm. moving Senior Center, mm -hmm. moving Town Hall, but then again, moving the senior center in town hall from the center of town, that's a bigger discussion. If we really want to go that route, then we do have to bring in some, bring in the rest of the community and say, is that really what we want to do? Yeah. Or do we want to look at the Russells? It, it's Russell's going to have to go to the people anyway on town meeting floor, and, and ultimately they're going to decide. So we are moving, and there's more going on. I do look forward to the RF, uh, RFQs are in for the architect, architect to give us the help there's a couple of things there that I'm hoping he can actually answer some questions and, and firm up some questions on some of the buildings. Because I understand there's some uh, structural issues that the building committee has about the Russell School. There's some structural issues they have on the senior center. Yep. Um, you answer those two questions and they're in one way that, that actually changes change the whole, yeah. On what you're gonna if it's this with. way, we have something more to play with, so. And I, I, I agree with Brian, and I said it enough since last year. If we had a problem, we could take the uh, park and rec and put them in the senior 
center with no problem. So take about a week or two and they can be in there. But that's not really a problem in the North Happy Hall. Basically, the fire station. So, uh, you know, but uh, the point you brought up on uh, is something that I didn't know about. I don't know if the other fellows, and I'm sure some of them don't know either about uh, what we have to look at. So uh, I'll have to mention that to the uh, committee uh, next week when we meet and uh, see what we can come up with a definitive piece of property, a definitive answer as to what's going where, and then you can, you'll know what we're looking at. And it's going to go out. And, and when, I frame, when you frame it, it's not what's going where, it's what would you need for this program. That's you know, I mean, department. central yeah. location, you know, or bifurcate, you know, north end, south end location, all of that. Yeah. If you were building it, if you, yeah. if you, you just dropped onto the plot plan of Hadley on day one and you could wave a magic wand, logically what would you do and then figure out the gap where we are relative to what we'd really like to have yeah. that, that, that's nice you know, it'd be nice if we could drop it there but the money to drop it there would be, we have to consider that how much money it's going to cost too for each piece of oh, and that's part of the gap analysis yeah. absolutely yeah. and then you're going to have to make trade-offs yeah exactly yeah okay thank you very much you're welcome so are there any announcements uh, no announcements, uh, but can I just, just speak for a minute? Yeah. Sure. Um, I kind of ran over here because I've been watching your meeting tonight, and it was a little upsetting to me because we're not just fixing roofs and repairing buildings. We, in our process of evaluating the buildings, we see that they're in disrepair. This process of redoing buildings it's not going to get done in two years. It's going to take five, ten years, especially if they have to jockey departments around. You know, so that's what we're looking at. That's why we're doing the repairs. We fix the roof so that we're going to get another ten years out of the senior center until we decide what's going to happen with that building. So, you know, this isn't going to happen overnight. So you've got to understand that. People in the town have to understand that. So. We're doing, you know, this is a very difficult job. If you want somebody else to do it, you can get somebody else. But we're doing the best we can here. And you're doing a fine job. And I think okay. people are a little, just getting a little, we want to see you move faster, but we can't move faster. We have well, a lot obviously to Obviously we can't because we can't even agree. Um, okay, thank you so very much. It, <laughs> Things are going fine. And we can talk a little more about this later. Um, any announcements? Well, I just, <laughs> I, I think maybe, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think maybe what your takeaway that you heard wasn't necessarily what I heard. I think it's just that, of course, there are differences of opinion about how fast or how slow or anything, but I think what you were hearing specific to the question that was at hand from Willie about investigating these parcels, I think what you were hearing was that we were acknowledging that we need to do more work for exactly the reasons that you're stating. So we're trying to move at an appropriate pace and not in any way to speak for myself but I think the rest of the select board as well not in any way disregarding the work that's being done. That was the initial aim of the building committee was to go ahead and look into these properties and see how we could upgrade them or replace them or repair them or rebuild them but all these other issues because of lack of maintenance came into play and this is where we're at right now. And it's consumed quite a bit of their time. And I would love it if we could not have to fix these roofs in the meantime and just do the whole building if we're gonna do it. But we recognize that this is not gonna happen in two <coughs> years, especially with all of these buildings that we're dealing with. So this is what we're trying to do is protect what we have because we don't know what's gonna happen. The town may decide we don't wanna do anything. Right. In which case we're stuck with buildings that have, should have been fixed five years ago and now we've got a problem, which is even bigger than the first one. So, I think we're try and I think we're trying to do it strategically. Like, we're doing North Hadley Hall. We're focused on that now. How to get the buyer. You're meeting with the historical society. You're doing all mm -hmm. that. How much are we going to sell off of that? And this building's going to be vacant this spring. So 
Will we focus on that one next, maybe, to get rid of that one, or to do what with it? You know, because certainly once it's empty, it becomes another atrocity of not of having have more repairs. If you know, just by doing minimal right now, it will need more without anybody being in there. Yeah, and, and just so you know, the the library committee has is trying to get uh, at some point get an architect on board to, to evaluate the buildings for the library purposes. Mm -hmm. But it also it's a dual purpose because if they find that it doesn't work for the library, it may not even work for the town hall. Mm -hmm. So we need to evaluate it, but it's not going to happen next week. Right. You must have left right before we talked about some yeah, of that Yeah, you must stuff. have been like en route. Well, I, 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 I think we be talking for a while. <laughs> no. But by no means were we criticizing your committee. No. Well, <laughs> well and, and, then, from it. and we were actually kind of straying very far into talking about a subject that's not on the agenda. So <laughs> I, I, yeah. I understand what your concern and then but this is another issue that may arise <laughs> however <laughs> well, i mean it did important. arise within 24 hours <laughs> another point that comes up now is it would be good if the select board did come to our meeting some member just so that we have this communication because right. if you have any questions about what we're doing i don't know how it's getting translated to you other than maybe mr tudrin has been meeting with our select or our chairman yes but it would be helpful even during some of our discussions perhaps to bounce it off of you guys and just so you know, we did meet with the planning board last night to discuss um, um, some other issues and some of the other properties and what we could do with North Hadley Hall. And so this is part of the process, but we still haven't gotten everybody together yet. Correct. And we also and want to get the we, yes. we understand it completely. And yes, Mr. Tudor and I talk quite a bit lately about what's going on and how he wants to go and where, where we're going with this whole thing. So there is a great deal of conversation going on. So. Completely understand you guys are doing a phenomenal job and we're not saying it's not being that way, but we do we do understand it's gonna be a longer process and everything has to be in the right wicket before we move forward. And it's not moving fast enough for us either. We would love to get everything figured out and done and, and it, but it's not gonna happen that way. We know this is multiple years and that's you know, I don't know if we'll all survive through this thing, but you know, <laughs> well, they say it's that. we're getting the ball rolling and Mark Hadley Hall is the first step and yeah. we gotta get that yeah. on the agenda, get that done and then we'll figure out the next pieces. They do say the uh, kitchen remodeling or home remodeling is such a marriage. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is probably a this is probably a mega remodeling for a family. So, so you go for even you're getting white on a, with our job there. So it's getting, your hair is getting whiter. I can see it. it is. Yeah. I think my other job's getting whiter though. All right.